Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So today I just want to show you how you can make a posting schedule on your wall that is easy to stick to. So this video is for digital entrepreneurs like me. Maybe you have a website where you want to post blogs. Maybe you have a YouTube channel, uh, an Instagram, Twitter channel. Uh, maybe you're on Facebook, you're trying to post often. You're trying to get that consistency. Otherwise, maybe you just have certain things that you need to do in a week. Maybe you need to get your shopping on a certain day and your washing done on another day to get yourself turned around and just, you know, living the best life possible. Maybe you even need to cook at a certain day and then you've got meals during the week for when you're coming back from work. Whatever it is, I just want to show you how you can make a really simple schedule. So let's have a look at my schedule from last year. This is my last year's schedule where... Um, I did it on the computer and just want to outline what it looks like and why I did it like that. So let's have a look. So this is my schedule uh, and as you can see it's pretty big. Um, I printed it out on uh, not this huge piece of paper, it's actually made up of lots of A4 pieces of paper stuck together uh, when it printed out. Um, so you can do that on the computer. So just to show you, um, these are my um, YouTube channel videos um, I've got the date that they were set out they're a bit um, mixed up here I was literally just started on Facebook and they get more consistent down here I started off setting an, an original date um, some of them I wanted to re-release so I had the original date that they were released and then the re-release um, for when I had more followers um, and I did start on the 2019 schedule and as you can see that's got really really messed up but we'll come back to that in a second so the next thing is over here uh, I've got the words created, had I, I created it have I then scheduled it for release uh, maybe on my uh, you know website has it come out yet so has it been done uh, am I on Facebook, have I scheduled it for Twitter and also Instagram as well so this side is the next side, so this is, uh, you can see there, release schedule 2018. You can see that I'm trying to post regularly for my vlogs on Sunday. Um, that's what I started to do originally. Sunday mornings I just thought people would have more time, but it was a, oopsie daisy, it was a bit of an experiment. So, let's have a closer look at the other side. So, just to show you again, um, pretty simple, so you've got the date release. Uh, the different titles, um, are they created, are they scheduled, are they done, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Now I'm not on Twitter at the moment but I did want to leave that column free um, and then as you can see I've just ticked them off. But what happened for me was as you can see they're starting to get a bit messy um, and I crossed several things out as you can see for example here, crossing out several times. Um, and it just got a bit messy, especially when I'd already written things in. Over here you can see I'd written some things, there I've written things in on the computer. And it's quite a long title and I needed to cross it out. Um, but that didn't give me any space to write in what I did want to put there. Um, or change the dates around or anything like that. The other thing was with doing it on the computer. Um, I hadn't really taken stock of the year so I didn't for example realise it was going to be things like Black Friday, Halloween where I might want to do extra videos or extra blogs and um, I didn't again didn't leave me space to change things around so I'm showing you what I'm going to do this year. Let's just move that out of the way. There we are. So this year is something a bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it as pen and paper. Now I'm probably going to put it on the computer as well so I'll just have a copy on my laptop wherever I go. Um, but I want to do it on the computer and I've done it slightly differently this year so let's take a look. So first of all I've done the week because um, I'm starting in January so I can do you know week one, week two, week three etc make sure I'm posting consistently. Uh, the date obviously is very important. The blog is in the title uh, and I'm going to leave this space blank so that if I decide to change sort of when I post and the time that I post I can write it in there. Again created, scheduled, uh, I've put here other and uh, type as well so is it um, for this side I'm going to do for my blog post I'm going to actually switch it around so um, left side blogs, right side YouTube videos and the reason I put other is what type of 
of post is it and um, blog post have I done one like that before I can write my comments in there um, and then I can see you know am I doing a lot of maybe persuasive blogs and I need to do one on you know just informing people or making people laugh am I doing a lot on you know a certain type of topic and I need to expand it a bit more because my audience is going to get a bit bored of that um, you know is there a new topic that maybe I'll come out with that um, I've realised that my audience would like to know more of and I can write that in again this other section so go on again Facebook Instagram leave this space blank for Twitter and then moved on to the next side so I've got again uh, for my YouTube videos what week is it what date is it YouTube video again leaving that space blank so I can um, maybe change when I'm posting again have I created it if so what day um, because for example if you create something in the winter um, you know and it's for the summer you might look back in the summer and actually go that's not appropriate or the background isn't appropriate or I want to redo that because um, I've learned new things since then um, is it scheduled so is it scheduled for release obviously this time on YouTube um, what, again what type of it is it on Facebook is it on Instagram and here I actually put the word boost so have I added it say example to Facebook uh, or Instagram as a as a video and have I boosted it as a, if to say you know have I promoted it um, as as an ad as a paid advert on those channels so the next thing that I want to show you about is um, what to do from then you know because it's it's not simply a matter of filling it in what I've done is I've got this diary so I'll show you that so it's my 2019 diary and the first thing I would advise is go through and say for me I want to post here every Thursday um, and every Sunday as well that's another Thursday one here we go this is um, all the way in November 2019 this is actually Sunday and it's Remembrance Sunday and these are the sort of things you've got to be really really mindful of um, for example I'm just going to flick back a few pages so this is um, going back to October and I'll show you something that you might want to bear in mind if you are doing uh, posting throughout the year. So October um, is quite a busy month and you want to be mindful of certain things. Um, for example the last week in October is really 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 busy um, so you might want to actually do some extra blog posts, maybe do and some extra YouTube videos, maybe promote those videos um, and so you want to be mindful of that sort of thing which is why you should fill in your diary first so let me just show you October so Saturday the 26th I've put the clocks go back at 2am tomorrow maybe that would be a great day on Saturday the 26th for me to do a blog post or even a video saying to people hey don't forget now as I say this is a Saturday it's not my usual posting time uh, blogs I usually do on a Sunday and a Thursday so I want to bear that in mind here, um, I'm not going to show you that, but it's somebody's birthday, which is really, really important. Um, the clocks go back, and I just uh, want to do a blog post on people getting ready for Halloween. Um, so that's quite a busy day again. And then next Thursday, um, so Thursday the 31st, it's actually Halloween itself. Um, and then of course we're into November. So that is quite a busy month, and those are the sort of things you want to be aware of. Uh, Black Friday as well, that sort of thing, um, Cyber Monday. Uh, sometimes you get a lot of events all in one go. Um, be mindful of things in other cultures as well, Diwali. Um, Fourth of July, for example, in America, obviously massive, uh, Independence Day. Um, I'm in the UK, so that doesn't affect me, but for anyone who is receiving my videos in the US, that's a massive day for them, and I want to probably do something for that or maybe to explain even to people who are not in the US what Independence Day is and why it's so important and try and share that culture. So just going back to uh, this posting schedule, we'll move the diary out the way. Once you've done that you just fill in uh, these lines. Um, I've sort of divided it up mathematically so um, this is a certain width, this is a centimetre, this is two, this is um, nine centimetres and you just do it according to you know how much space you need obviously the blog titles I need a lot of space YouTube titles I need a lot of space whereas just checking for things like is it on Facebook is it on Instagram that just needs a tick in the box so it doesn't need to be very wide 
So when you're going back and you're filling in your weeks, don't go too far. Um, because again, uh, unless you are aware of what you have scheduled, um, you might want to fit in extra things. Always do it in um, in pencil because um, again, with it not being in, in ink, you can just um, sort of erase it out and write something else in if you change your mind through the year, which is what I had problems with, with doing it on the computer. Um, it's also a lot easier just to, to fill in as well. So I um, hope you have found that really, really helpful. Again, it doesn't have to be things like YouTube, Facebook and all that. It could uh, read something like, say for example, you want to do something at your home. Let's have another look, take it in that context. So this could be, what week is it? What's the date that you need to get it done? This could be washing. Have you done it? Is it, you know, um, have you ironed it? You know, have you got clothes sorted for the morning? And then the other side could be uh, shopping or, I don't know, food prep. Have you done, you know, your food prep? Have you, you know, maybe you want to cup, cup a stew every Sunday night and then you've got it for within the week um, when you get back home. So again, you could do the same thing. Have you, have you got the ingredients? Have you um, made it? Um, you know, is there something new you'd like to try? Uh, new ingredients maybe? Maybe you want to do that and, and become a better cook. So there's lots of ways that you can do this, but that's just to outline how you can make um, the schedule. Now, why is that so important? Well, basically, you need to be organised, guys. You need to know what you're doing in the year. Um, it's so much easier to be organised and disorganised because you end up missing key events, e.g. Uh, for me as a marketer, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I can't miss those. Christmas is obviously a massively busy time. Um, you want to have all your blogs and everything created before December because you are going to be busy yourself, you're not going to have time. Um, so it's really important to get ahead of the game. And the beauty of this as well is it's a schedule, you can chop and change it, um, it really doesn't matter. Um, if things are not working to you, that's the beauty of having it. You can start to identify uh, those patterns and those changes. So I hope you found that useful. Um, obviously do feel free to check out the rest of my videos on YouTube, pitweekly.com. Uh, my website, pitweekly.com, has all those amazing blogs uh, that I'll be scheduling in. Um, things like how to overcome procrastination, um, anxiety, um, sort of enhancing yourself, improving yourself, and how to get the courage to do that. All sorts of things, and of course I'm on Facebook, pitweekly.com, and Instagram as well, where we try and post as often as we can. Um, sometimes every single day, so I hope you find those posts useful as well. Obviously it's all free, feel free to sign up. And um, if you think you'd like to become a digital entrepreneur like me, um, obviously there are links on my website, pitweekly.com, where you can meet my mentors, Stuart and Jay, and um, you can have the opportunity to join this amazing community where, quite frankly, I've gained so much more confidence and I really feel like I'm creating a future for myself. Um, and also for my family as well, which is really, really important for me. Um, I can't wait. I'm learning so many skills. Um, I'm actually an, an introvert. Um, I'm quite a shy person. So even doing things like this video, um, I wouldn't have had the confidence to, to do this if it had not been for um, the company and the group that I'm with. So it's amazing personal growth as well as business growth too. So that is all from me. And until next time, you have an amazing day. Take care now. Bye.